Hello and welcome to this session. I am Raghav and today we are going to learn how to run our Selenium tests from Jenkins and we will go very basic step by step and learn how to set up Jenkins and then finally how to create a job in Jenkins and run our Selenium tests. So let's get started and the prerequisite will be you should have a command to run your Selenium tests from command line and in the last session we have learned how to run our Selenium test ng test from Maven using command line and I will have the link of that video in the description or notes section so in case you have not watched it you can go and watch that and here the very first step is we will have to download Jenkins and then we will have to set up Jenkins so let us see how to do that I will go to my browser and go to Google and say download Jenkins and here I will get this download jenkins.io dot download so this is the website jenkins.io download and here if you go down you will find this download section and you can download it for multiple services and operating system we have mac os windows and here if you see we have a generic java package dot war so I will take this dot war and click here it will start downloading and we have this file here so once this is downloaded I will go to the folder and I will just take it to some other location so you can keep it anywhere on your system I'm going to keep it in my tools D drive tools and here I will create a new folder Jenkins and place it here so I have got my jenkins.war file downloaded and now I can run Jenkins by this command java-jar jenkins.war so I can open command line and go to this location or a shortcut is if I go to the address bar and say cmd on windows it will open the command line on that particular address or location if you are on mac you can go to terminal and go to the location where your jenkins.war file is and here we have to run the command java-jar jenkins.war and if you press enter it will start the jenkins server on the default port which is 8080 but if you want you can change the port you can say minus minus http port equals I will start on port 9191 so this should start Jenkins server and just in case you face any issues with Jenkins I have a separate playlist and a complete series on Jenkins I will provide the link of that particular series in the description section or the notes section so you can watch that in case you face any issue with Jenkins so this is going to be very easy let me just show you so this is opening Jenkins and once you see Jenkins is fully up and running you can go to your browser and say localhost and then colon and then the port number so in case you have started on default port you can say 8080 if you have used any other port like I have used 9191 I will say localhost colon 9191 and press enter and this should show you your Jenkins dashboard so now if you have done it for the first time you will get a different screen you will have a screen where you will have to add the plugins and then you can create some user so you can do those uh, steps uh, in my case it was already present so I have directly got into this dashboard so just in case if you have used it for the first time or you are using Jenkins for the first time there will be simple steps you can um, download or add the plugins the recommended plugins that you will see on the screen and then create a user and start your Jenkins so now the next step is we have to create job so setup Jenkins is done and now we have to create job and run selenium tests in four simple steps the first step is we have to create a new freestyle job so here you can go to create new job or go to new item anything you can do I will go to new item here and here you can give any name I will say selenium test 1 click on freestyle project and say ok so this will start this will show you the window and here you can give any description and then if you come here you can go to source code management and if you want to integrate with git or subversion you can do that but now we are going to keep it very simple and here we have build triggers this also we will skip for now then build environment and then finally we have the build step so as of now we will just add a build step 
and if you are on windows you will select execute windows batch command if you are on, on linux or mac os you will select execute shell so i am on windows i will execute windows batch command and here i have to give the command to run my selenium tests and let me go to my eclipse and show you so here we have the project so this is a java maven project for selenium and in the last session we have created commands so I will have to go to the location of this project first so I will copy the location and I will also show you in the command line how it will be executed so if I open command line I have to go to the location of the project so CD this location so the same thing I will do in my Jenkins so on my Jenkins also I will say CD and it's better to give the uh, drive name first so just in case if you are on some other drive it will first change the drive and then say cd and the location of the project now just in case your project location is on d drive then you will give here d colon and then cd to your project so this is the first command and then the next command is I have to say here MVN clean test and I will run this and this should run my test so yes it is starting and if this is successful I will add the same commands to my Jenkins so it is running a test which is test 1 and it opens a browser goes to orange hrm logs in and logs out yes so this is uh, successful and also let me show you what it is doing if i go to pom.xml and this we have done in the last session and we have added this maven show fry plugin and here first we have seen how to run through a test ng file and then we have seen how to run a simple or a single test case and here we are running test1.java so this all we have done earlier in the last session so now I just have to add the commands so I will add the same command here mvn clean test and then I can echo something and that's it so we have done this we have added details and commands to our selenium test and then now we will apply and save and we will run and validate so let me apply save and here I will say build now so let us see what happens and you can also see the logs so it is running I will go here click here and you can see the logs and yes it is running the tests and the same test you can see it has opened a browser logs in logs out and everything is done so you can see our test is successful and if I go back to the project and you can see this is successful you can always go to this particular build and go to console output and see the logs so this is successful now the main advantage of using Jenkins is because you, you have now integrated with Jenkins you can integrate with continuous integration system and in case you want to integrate your testing with other processes or other systems you can do it via Jenkins or via command line as well but Jenkins is uh, most commonly used and other advantages now if you want things like to integrate with some commit of the dev team let me just show you if I go to this job and if I go to configure now you can see this build triggers so in build triggers you have multiple uh, triggers so if you want to trigger remotely if you want to trigger after some projects are built if you want to trigger a uh, build periodically you can give a cron expression here and if you uh, click on this question mark you can see how you can give the cron expression so if you want to schedule it for some particular time you can do that if you want to run your testing whenever there is a commit in some particular project like a dev project or whenever you have some build you can do that as well and all this you can see in my Jenkins series and now the other thing you can do is if you go to your Jenkins and go to manage Jenkins and if you go to manage plugins here and go to the available section 
you will find a lot of plugins here as well that you can use if you search for selenium you can see some plugins for selenium like selenium html report if you go and search for test ng you can see these plugins so you can see this plugin helps us to see the test ng report in jenkins so all this you can do now in jenkins so this is how you create a job and run selenium tests i hope this session was very useful for you uh, you can do some hands-on so that this concept is very clear to you and also share with your knowledge with others and in case you face any issues you can let me know and i will try to help you as soon as i can i hope all this was very useful i will meet you in the next video thank you for watching